Hi Felicities, this is Jen Victor and you are tuned into the channel with no name. Today, ooh, okay, y'all know I'm always playing with my hair. Um, today we're back doing a really quick, um, hopefully not too long of a video, following up on my latest unboxing, if you haven't watched it. And if y'all know that I recently unboxed this beautiful vintage Chanel um, double clap with the bijou chain uh, for my 59 months of sobriety. And this video isn't about this bag, it's actually about the bag that it is replacing. Um, and so let me just set this aside but give you some eye candy since I know I was a little too energized and in a rush when I was doing that last video. Um, but yeah, so this is my new to me vintage Chanel double flap uh, with the bijou chain and it's the really like the 1980s model um, and this bag is actually replacing uh, this Gucci Velvet Marmont Mini in the color red which is not picking up the true color that y'all know um, and it is in the gold hardware size mini and in the velvet leather and so I kind of spoke a little bit about why I'm replacing this beautiful bag and I you know I I don't normally structure these sit down videos I kind of just think about what I'm gonna say beforehand and then I'll I'll start the video but really the thing with this bag is I, I, I love the color and the way the color shows on the velvet like I said go on my Instagram or watch the previous video when I unboxed this a couple of weeks ago to see the true color since it's a little hard to capture right now. Um, it's such a, it's actually surprisingly, this bag, while it's a mini, is it can actually pack a punch and fit quite a lot of things and it's pretty malleable. Um, it's malleable but it holds its shape. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the heart but it didn't bug me too much and I think it was I wanted a flat bag that I could use every day with um, and also use it like more dressy since mini bags I mean tend to serve that purpose you know you can uh, and I was hoping when I got this bag that I would wear it uh, a, a myriad of ways so obviously the most uh, the most popular way for folks is the long shoulder um, on the off the shoulder or cross body ah! um, but I actually was planning to wear it more on the crook of my arm or on the shoulder double chain or two chains <laughs> and I was also making sure my hands are both dry and oil free I was going to clutch it like this and the reason why I knew that I would have to wear it uh, uh, various ways is because I had read reviews that what, uh, the chain that rubs right here on this part of the leather would start to actually wear on the leather uh, over time and so that's why I, I, I made peace that I knew velvet does wear um, rather quickly compared to uh, compared to like lambskin and obviously patents and uh, and in like for Chanel you have caviar and various different you know uh, various different types of leather so I knew that over time the velvet will wear the issue with the Gucci Marmont mini in the velvet is that it has worn so quickly and you actually um, there isn't the wear like the line on here anymore but in the handful of times I used it uh, so I was wearing it the different mixes um, I mainly actually wore it two chain on the crook of my arm but it, there were a couple of times where I actually wore it long shoulder and the chain rubbed on here and in those few times um, the first month I had it I already kind of started to see indentation and that really bugged me not because I knew that it was gonna wear but the thing is how quickly it wore and there was a tip and I I, I remember her um, Instagram I will link it but there were folks that said you know as a tip you can wear it this way which let me adjust the chain really quick just to make it look a little neater you can wear it this way and I guess it works to prevent the wear but honestly I don't want to wear my bag that way I don't personally um, and and so it was just really frustrating to already see it wear and so I stopped using it and put it back in the box and wrapped it up and it's a little little like dust paper thingy and I was like I'm gonna just use my other bags and so then I checked on it and I was like oh the, it's not bad anymore um, and there are already wear that kind of shows and it's like very pink. I think that's the most amount of wear on this bag. 
But the biggest thing is, it just will, it, the velvet started to kind of really look, age quickly. I don't know what the, I, I don't want to use wear again, but uh, the velvet doesn't stand the test of time when time is tomorrow. Um, it's obscene when you start to pay, you know, a couple of hundreds of dollars. And yes, we know that certain things, um, uh, you know, age a little faster, but in like w less than, what, two weeks, I already started to see that. That really bothered me. And the fact that I was already cognizant of it and trying to wear it different ways, like I said, um, and even like being very cognizant of my hands and the oils and making sure it was never wet, um, it just, it, it was really disappointing, and I think if you recently have, if you follow Chase Amy, she is um, a UK blogger, and she spoke about two different velvets, Gucci velvet and Saint Laurent YSL velvet. Um, she did bring up the same thing. She talked about when she picked up her Gucci Marmont um, in the velvet. It already, at, even when she was buying it, it already kind of looked like. It was worn down a little. And so, honestly, I've had, I have velvet shoes that I featured on this channel, and I'll, I'll link all of that down below so you can actually just see some of those videos. Check it out. Um, and it, I wore it, like, and abused it for maybe two, three years, and the velvet actually looks really great. And mind you, it's a dark velvet, so that wear, as it starts to age, you'll see it. And I wore it in the rain, and or got caught in the rain with it, and it looks fine. But this one, in the short amount of time I got it, it was just really disappointing. Um, and I think that's a really huge oversight, right? Like, just there's a line that's going to be indented in this part of your bag. Um, and then, obviously, this one is going to wear my one recommendation for when you close it, and I, I will show you. So you open it. Um, when I close it, I try to touch the G, and then push. So I don't actually touch that. And then I try to just hit it from under so there's less wear on the front part. I'd rather hide the wear under the flap. Um, but those, I can adjust with. Not being able to wear, you know, and like I said, I don't really wear my bags crossbody, but I want to wear it off the shoulder. I do. And I'm not going to stand up, but you know, like off the shoulder like this. Uh, but it's gonna keep on rubbing and so that's really why I want to let it go because while I I Think that the Gucci Marmont is really beautiful um, You know, it's not for everybody's lifestyle, but it is a really great flap and the color the color is exceptional but it's just I want to I like using my bags a lot of times I don't like things sitting if you notice I especially if you follow my Instagram I try to rotate most of my bags and if somebody is able to take a picture I'll take a picture and post it on my Instagram um, so you don't always see all my bags but I'm tr I'm rotating them constantly so with that said it's really kind of tragic that this wore so quickly even with my rotation system um, and so that is why I'm letting it go and I'm thinking of selling it on fashion file just because I don't want to deal with difficult customers um, and it's supposed to you know technically it's supposed to fund this bag um, and so the reason this is the reason why I got this bag is because I wanted a smaller flap style bag and obviously this is like you know wait this is a little bigger, but it's still tiny enough where I can wear it both casual and dressy. Um, and I really like, I, I, you know, I love my Lady Dior, I love top handles, but I wanted to add a more higher end flap style bag. And I'm not even gonna lie, I still enjoy my Henry Bendel 712. Um, <laughs> it's kind of tragic how that wears so much better compared to this. And that's when, you know, like, a Gucci, whatever formula or material or manufacturer you're getting with your velvet, get it together, fix it, and make sure it doesn't wear so bad. Um, I do want to add like a little bit of shade. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I <laughs> just like, I want to add a little bit of shade because um, there was a client advisor at Gucci in Rodeo Drive in their flagship store that was trying to just sell me and I already ordered this, trying to sell me on the velvet. And she said, velvet wears way better than lambskin. It wears, it wears better 
than lambskin Ju got me effed up trying to make a sale like I just I don't like those client advisors and when she was helping me I knew you're not gonna tell me the truth you're trying to make a sale and I wasn't gonna buy it already because I already had it it was waiting to be shipped but the fact that she said that blatantly either a she's ignorant and doesn't know the products that she's selling or B, um, she was just trying to make a sale and she thinks, you know, like that's the funny thing that most people, especially client advisors, think that uh, bag addicts don't know what we're, you know, talking about. I'm not a basic customer. I can speak bags. Yo hablo, bols hablo bolsas. Si. Yeah. But that's so annoying. And so for me, now as I reflect on that interaction and what's been happening with this bag and that it's leaving is... Yes, I don't deal with client advisor BS. I like client advisors, like as Jerusha said, right? They will be honest and understand like my aesthetic and no, that's not gonna work for your lifestyle. This is what you should, this is what I would recommend for you. You know, kind of giving those tips and not just trying to say, oh, let me sell you a twilly to chotch up your bag. Some folks aren't twilly people or some folks aren't Fendi furball people. Um, and so I definitely just wanted to share that just because I really don't like that. And I go in store to kind of get context and perspective. And when I meet client advisors like that, I'm like, bye. Um, and yeah, so I think that's my update on this kind of why this Gucci Marmont Velvet is li leaving my collection. I will try to do before I send it out um, and sell it to do maybe a quick like what fits in it so I can compare it with this to my Chanel bag as well as um, maybe my Henry Bendel 712 convertible since I think they're three different price points. Um, so let's see. We'll see that later. But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Bye Felicities! <laughs>